Well, this year marks a major milestone for U.S. war veterans across central New York. The American Legion is celebrating its centennial. Since 1919, the organization has evolved into VFW posts around the world focused on service members, veterans, and their communities. News Channel 9's Jennifer Sanders visited Dunbar Post 1642 in the Westcott neighborhood, which is one of the first predominantly African-American posts in our region. <laughs> think, no, you got Janice in there, you got Richard Breeling. Right on the corner of Dell Street. Where's the other photo we had of us, Marion? In the Westcott neighborhood of Syracuse. <laughs> <laughs> is a place where lifelong friendships are formed over shared experiences of war, sacrifice, and love of country. But to understand the historic value of Dunbar VFW post 1642, we have to go back almost 70 years ago. Our posts began in 1947. They were organizing at that point in time. So they started holding meetings at the original Dunbar Center, and eventually they named the post after the famed poet, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Uh, it was primarily established because they weren't, they didn't feel welcome at the other post at that time. You know, it was a different culture, different time as far as, you know, racism is concerned. Over the years, they grew from a few members to a very diverse group of men and women who have served in the military. Some of us carry rifles and pull triggers, others fly planes, others bob up in the ocean on ships, but it's military is a military. Some of them experiencing life-altering situations that are sometimes hard to comprehend. Talking about the war or the wars you've been in or even the situations you've been in, whether you were in the war or not, is difficult. But being here with friends who've become like family makes it a little easier. And we just have shared that common military background someplace and we all get along together. That camaraderie extends well beyond these four walls. They spend time giving back to the VA and local organizations with a special focus on the children. Uh, we concentrate on oratorical contests for the high school students. We concentrate on uh, child and uh, youth programs. The support for the outside and the support within has really become a fabric of the community and a very important part of each of their lives. In Syracuse, Jennifer Sanders, News Channel 9. Like many other posts, Dunbar's VFW 1642 runs on donations, hosting fish dinners on Friday nights. Many of their members are on a fixed income, but find ways to raise funds to build their youth and community programming.